on today's Kidding with Kayla. Holiday season brought to you by Super Glue. <laughs> That's right. There's no such thing as perfect. You know, things are going to get broken. People don't always get along during the holidays. You may not have the time and money you were hoping to have this year. That's why I wanted to do a report on being realistic with your expectations. Here it is. Breaking news! Experts say the best way to have a happy holiday season is to keep expectations low. Even Hallmark movies have a little drama. We are one day into December and my son already has broken a sentimental plate. History shows several ornaments will also shatter in the coming weeks. I can confirm the back of the Christmas tree will always look significantly worse than the front. Sources say you should go ahead and put out that ugly Christmas decoration decoration your mother-in-law gifted because she will notice and it will not be worth the comments to follow. Now decoration police advise parents avoid anything that plays loud annoying music as your child is 99.9% .9 more likely to blare this at all hours of the day and night making you want to break it on purpose. Now speaking of breaking, don't break the bank on your Christmas gifts as studies show your kids will likely like the boxes the toys came in better anyway. Authorities say as long as you show kids love, start or continue meaningful traditions, and don't expect a perfect season, you won't be disappointed. Back to you. <laughs> and you know, we oh. always do this to ourselves. Yes. We get our expectations all mm -hmm. high. It's the most wonderful time mm -hmm. of the year. And then you're like... And in the background, you out here <laughs> wheezing. You over here like, who got my drink? <laughs> Anybody hold something. I just need... This is ridiculous. Absolutely. So, you know, I'm not alone. As always, other people commented saying they're always... They're already breaking things this season. One mom said she just buys all plastic mm. stuff, and then she saves the glass ornaments and decor for when her kids are going to get older, there which we is go. really smart. A lot of people also suggested breakable ornaments you should put at the very top of the tree and mm. everything else at the bottom because that's you know more likely that they're going to fall. Uh, another parent commented that this story reminded them of a time that their mom tried to super glue an ornament back together Ooh. and then just ended up super gluing it all over her fingers. And those are the kinds of memories that just stick. You know, <laughs> Haley says the box part is totally true. Her seven year old daughter actually asked for boxes for Christmas this year. She's like, no toys, mom. Just give me those big old boxes. Like, well then, boo, you can have as many boxes as you want. Right? We can make that happen. My friend, she does what's, a, what's called an oops memory box. So Aww. everything that's broken that won't hurt the kids, if you will, she puts in this box. Now, they can't play with the box. They can just see inside the box. They shake it up. They put some glitter in there and voila, magic. But maybe that's something that's for your That's really arsenal. cool. And, you know, I was talking earlier today about just some of the things that stick with you as a kid mm -hmm. that maybe your parents didn't even realize were that special to you. For me, you know, I loved every year we would decorate the Christmas tree and my mom would say the same thing. This is the best Christmas tree <laughs> ever. And if she didn't say that, it was like, it was like Christmas was like, what did like, I do wrong? Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. What's wrong with this tree? <laughs> so do you have any, you know, childhood memories from Christmas that you just absolutely Oh, absolutely. You know, my dad did live competitions growing up. So he put about 30,000 lights on the house. We always were in the newspaper for the amount of lights. No that really freaked me out when I was a preteen because, you know, I'm the oldest of three girls. So, you know, imagine babysitting for the first time and you got like, I don't know, 200 strangers coming up to the door trying to figure out <laughs> what you did with your lights. It built character. Either way, I really love that. And I really, you know, I love sleeping in the dark, but in Christmas time, I love to see all the lights and the timers. You would just hear the timers like all around our house. I you know? love that. And that's, yeah. you're going to have that forever. So create those memories. Don't worry about all the other stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. For more Kidding with Kayla, you can follow me, Kayla Sullivan, on Facebook or click the Kidding with Kayla tab on WishTV.com.